Hi everybody, it's Beth from Artbase here and today I'm going to show you how to draw and paint this very sweet penguin. So um, the colours that we will need are black and white um, and then we're going to put some little tints of blues and yellows, maybe a little bit of pink in there as well. Um, and then we might need a little bit of orange for the beak. Okay, so if you've got all your paints ready, we'll get started. So let's just zoom you in a little bit. So bring you around so you can see properly. There we go. So you will need your paper portraits today. Um, and we'll get our pencil ready to start doing a little bit of sketching. So the penguin will start at the top and the penguin's going to take up most of the paper so we want to go all the way down pretty much to the bottom um, so we'll start off by doing the top of our penguin's head so I'm going to do a curved line for the top of his head like this okay and then we're going to just bring that we'll see the back of him first of all so remember to do very light lines everybody until you're happy with it so we'll start bringing this line down now and slightly out, just not too much, slightly out. And then we're going to curve it round, bringing it back down quite straight now towards the bottom. So we've got this long line that so it comes in just a tiny bit, then out, and then almost straight. And then we just curve it in just slightly towards the bottom. So that's the back of our penguin. And then the front of our penguin, we're going to bring this line, we curve it round like that. And then we're going to just bring it out. We're going to do, this is more like the tummy, isn't it? So it's going to go round and then slightly back down, but it pretty much mirrors the back. So I wouldn't worry too much. So we'll, get that basic shape of our penguin first of all. And then um, I'm going to just bring this line across to start with, but we need to add some legs. So don't press hard with your pencil because we will be rubbing a little bit of that out. So once you've done that line there, what we'll do, we'll just come in a little bit. So we want to pop a little line that comes down and we'll just extend the edge of it. And then what we can do, we can get our rubber and we can rub that little line out just there. Okay. And then we'll do another leg the other side. So we'll leave a little gap and then we'll do another little line and we'll extend the edge of it as well. So we've got two little legs. That one probably needs to come in a bit more like that. And then we'll get our rubber and just rub that line out. Okay, so we've got our legs and then our feet will keep nice and simple and just make sure you can see them okay. We'll just do sort of one, two, three, little spiky feet. One, two, three. Keep them nice and simple guys, okay. Um, let's pop his beak in next. So we've got our curve that we drew at the top of our head and about halfway down, that's going to be the middle of the beak. So we'll just come up a little bit and I want to do, it comes out quite a long way and it curves round to the tip and then it's going to come back towards the face like that. Okay, so a nice pointy beak and his eye is pretty much in the middle. So think about the middle between the back and the front. And we're just going to do a little lemon shaped eye just there. And then we can pop a little dot in the middle like that. And I'm going to pop a line that just curves on the beat to separate the top and the bottom. And then we're just going to bring the beak in a little bit. So I'm just going to do a little line that joins up from the bottom of the beak and we're going to bring it in. It's going to curve just like that and then it's going to curve up and it's going to join about halfway between the middle and the top and then it's going to just join in there. Okay. And then we can again just rub out that 
edge of our heads because we don't need that anymore. Okay, so we've got our basic shape of our penguin. Now he's got black and white sections, hasn't he? So we'll just put that, that in as well. And that will help us um, when we come to paint. So under the beak, we're going to leave a little gap and I want to do a little arch that curves around and then it comes down all the way down to the bottom and then just comes back in a little bit at the bottom. Okay, so this bit's going to be black, this bit's going to be white. So the only thing that's missing now is his wings. So um, about halfway down, we'll just pop his wing in. So one, that it's a line that crosses the edge and it comes down, curve it round and then bring it back up and it gets a bit wider as we go up the distance gets a little bit wider. And again, we will rub that line out. And then this wing is coming from the edge of the body. So pretty much level with this one. So you can track it with your pencil and then you can do a curved line that comes down again and curves around and then back to the body like that. And if we wanted to just pop a little bit of a line just to ground him so he stood on the snow, isn't he? So I think we're there with our drawing. We will start painting. So we'll start off by doing his big white tummy, I think. So obviously you will need a big scoop of white. I'm using quite a large brush because it's a big area to paint and just helps you to paint it quite quickly. If you've got a little brush, it can take a bit longer, that's all. So you're going to do a big scoop on your brush, just spread it out and we've got that painted nice and quickly. And we'll also paint his legs as well. So just make sure you paint his legs. Now, you probably can't see white paint on white paper, but what we're going to do is add a few little tints of colour. So we'll start off by making a little bit of um, light blue to start with. So when we make our light blues, what we do is we always start off with a white. So we'll start off with our white and I take a big scoop of white away and put it somewhere on our palette. Okay, so I've got it over here now. And then I'm going to just dip my brush, one dip into the blue, and then we're going to go round and round on the spots. Don't spread your paints all over your palette because you will waste your paint and we don't want that. So stirring it round and round. And now I've got a lovely tint of blue. And we always start with our whites and add the colour to the white, and then we can control how dark we want our tints. So you might not see this, so I might go just a little bit darker just so that you guys can see it clearly. So we're going to just add a little bit of this lovely blue, very pale blue, just around the edge at the top. And we're going to leave a little gap. And then we're going to do a little bit more around the edge, all the way down to the leg and then the other side of the leg. We'll do that little bit first. So once you've done that, just wipe your brush, wipe it off. You don't need to wash it. And we're going to go back and get a little bit of white paint and we need to blend it. And the key is to blending is to make sure that the paints are still wet and that will help you blend. So. Don't let your paint dry, otherwise it will be very difficult to blend. So we're just getting a little bit of white on our brush and we're helping to blend that light blue in to our penguin. And then we've got a lovely tint of colour. So we're not painting in blue. We don't want to paint in blue, it's just a little tint in his body. Okay, so we'll do that little bit first and then we'll carry on round. So I want to do this underneath it. So we're going to do that little bit, um, blue and the edge 
of his legs. So that side and the other side, just up the body just a little bit. And then we'll, again, wipe your brush, wipe off that blue tint. Don't, you don't need to wash it. And then um, use a little bit of white on your brush just to help blend that blue in a little bit. So it just softens off the edges and helps to blend it into your white so you haven't got a really harsh line between the blue and the white. And then we'll also do just, we'll go just up to the top now and just along that edge a little bit more, just along the edge, just at the top. And then drag it into your whites a little bit and then get your whites, dip your brush into your whites and then use your white to help blend it in. Okay, so you've got a lovely tint a blue around um, your body. And then we can add a few other colours. So I'm going to do a little bit of yellow as well. So I'm just going to make a tint of yellow the same way. So you take some white and you add the tiniest bit of yellow. And then we're just going to add a little bit of yellow. Just in the body up here and then again use some white just to help blend that in a bit and if it mixes with your blue then don't worry too much because it will end up with, with a nice sort of greeny tint okay so you've got a little bit of yellow there and I might do another little bit down here just down the bottom and again there's no right or wrong it doesn't have to be exactly in the same place and then white again to help blend it in. Okay, so there you go. And then I might just also do a tiny little bit of pink and obviously we don't want to paint our penguin pink. So make sure it's a very, very pale little bit of pink. So just a hint of pink. I'm just gonna pop it there. And then again, we're going to get some white and use your white to blend it in. And again, if that pink was to blend a little bit in with your blue or your yellow, that would look fine as well. Okay, so lots of whites just to help blend that all in. Okay. So we've got um, his lovely white tummy painted. And now we'll do a, a bit of pink for his feet as well. So I'm going to just use a little bit of pink, a little bit of yellow, and a little bit of white. Okay, so pink, yellow, and white. And the yellow just helps just to make it a bit more peachy. Okay. And then we're just going to paint his feet. Just a little bit along the bottom. Like that. Okay, so the yellow just knocks that pink back a bit and just so it's not quite so bright. Um, and then I think the next thing we'll do is we'll do his lovely orange beak. So we'll start off, we're going to paint it yellow to start with. So paint it all yellow. And then I'm just going to dip into my red or my orange, depending on what you have. And then we're just going to add a little bit along the bottom. And paint the bottom bit with your red or your orange. And then I'm going to wipe my brush and go back to my yellow and then use my yellow to help blend that in. So you can see that the top of the beak is a more yellowy shade of orange and the bottom is a more reddy shade. So we've got our lovely beak painted. So the next thing is our lovely black feathers. So we'll start off, and this is quite straightforward. So you just need quite a lot of black on your brush. We're going to paint the whole of our penguin black next so just nice and carefully and we'll just 
paint this penguin black careful round his eye. And we'll work down the body just slow. And just when I'm painting, especially with something like black, I always paint the edges first, a bit like when I'm colouring in. <clears throat> so I just follow the line, follow the pencil line with my brush. And then you get those nice neat edges. Down to the wing. We'll paint the wing as well. I've left just a tiny little gap above the wing so I don't lose the top of the wing. So all the way down to the tips. Carry on down the body. Nice and careful with your black, everybody. So all the way down, right to that edge, and then we just a little bit along the edge down to the the foot like that. And then with a small brush or just with the tip of your brush and not pressing hard, we're just going to flick out a few little flicks just to give him a few feathers there. And on the top of the head, not too many, just going to do a few little flicks with my brush to give him a bit of a fluffy edge but I wouldn't go too mad with it. So I've just barely gone outside the outline, but it just fluffies it up. It gives them a bit of a fluffy edge. And that's optional. You don't have to do that. I just quite liked it. I thought it made them look quite sweet. And then let's do this fin. So painting that side like that. So once we've done that, we need to just add a, a little bit of tone into the penguin's black feathers because he's very, very black at the moment. So what we'll do is we're just going to dip into our white. I'm going to give my brush a little wipe. I'm not washing it. I'm going to dip into my white. And we're just going to, on this wing here, I just want to do a few little white lines. And it's going to blend in with my black a bit. And that's fine because we want it to look a little bit grey, okay? And then that's going to help make your wing stand out from the body as well. Okay. And we can just fill in those little gaps now as well that we left. And we'll do the same on the other wing. So just a few little flicks of white in the wing. And you can blend it in to get a nice sort of a, a pale grey, so it's not really white. And again, we will do some little flicks along the top of his head. And then I'm just doing some little white lines just under his eye, coming down and just along the edge a little bit. And just work them a bit so that they end up being a bit more of a grey than a, than a pure white. And again, we can do a few just down the edge as well. Just little tiny lines. Don't press hard with your brush and then you can get that nice, um, a, a nice point on your brush and then you can help to get more detail. Um, so once you've done that, we will stick with our white and go back and just add a few little highlights in. So now I'm going to just, I'm not blending this in, I'm just adding a few little white dashes on the top of his head and a little white dash on a couple, just on the top of his wing. And then a couple on the top of that wing over there. And we'll also do a little white highlights just on the top of his beak, like that. And also, 
what we'll do whilst we've got the white on our brush we're nearly there I'm going to dip into that pale blue that we made earlier and I just want to put a little bit of pale blue just at his feet and just underneath his feet so we've got a little bit of snow on the ground okay so just along the ground just there a little bit of shading it could be a little shadow as well couldn't it so just working a little bit of pale blue and a little bit of white and i've actually got a little bit of black still on my brush which is making a gray but i quite like it actually it's quite nice so just underneath and then the last thing is his eyes isn't it and that's going to be really simple but um just with the tip of your brush make sure your brush is clean and we're just going to paint the eye yellow and then a little in the middle just a little black dot like that okay and there you have it, your lovely penguin. And then the last little thing, if you want to do this, and again, it's optional, but I did, I put a few little splats on my penguin. So if you're in class, you might want to just make up a little bit of paint solution and pass it round or have a splatting table. Um, and if you're at home, then just make sure that you have, um, no screens around or anything that you would want to get um, splats on or that you shouldn't get splats on. So we have a little pot of water, okay, just with about a teaspoon of water in and then a big dollop of paint and we're going to mix it together so it's to make a, a watery paint solution. And then when you've got that, you just take your brush, and you hold it really close over your artwork. And then just with one finger, you just tap, tap, tap. And then you can control where your splats go. And we don't end up getting it everywhere, do we? All over ourselves or all over the walls or anywhere that we shouldn't get it. So if you just do that very carefully, and you can do that with a blue, and I also did it with a black. In fact, I'll show you the finished one. So blue and a black, here we go. And just pop a few little splats around him, just adds a little finishing touch and a little bit of movement. Um, and there you have your lovely finished penguin painting.